Do you think that your rank doesn't actually represent your skill? Do you think that you deserve a higher rank than you actually are? Well, it turns out most people actually think this way. They're stuck in whatever rank, but think that they should be in a lot higher one. So, my question to you is why are you so special, pal, huh? Just kidding. Today I'm going to teach you how to think like a champion. The chances are there are some slight inconsistencies with the way you're playing or the way you might be thinking about how you're playing that is actually keeping you stuck in the rank that you are. Let's go into the match and find out. Think Like a Champion is back, baby, on the Pox Unlocked channel. However, it will only be once a week on Tuesday. So happy Tuesday, guys. And I'm excited. This is a series where I solo queue and champion rate. Explain all my thoughts and plans so that you too can think and play like a champion gamer yourself. This is, I feel like this is one of the best ways to learn is, is, is these style of videos where you guys can see exactly what I'm thinking and what I'm planning. So you can kind of understand how to think about the game a little bit better so you're making the right plays and doing the right things that lead to winning more. Because too many people, in my opinion, just think it's all about KD and his bunny and meh, 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 meh. And they're silly. So, for those reasons, we're going to activate. We're going to disassociate our brains from our bodies so you can take a look inside and get absolutely nuts with it. Uh, super excited. I love this series. I know a lot of you guys do as well. So, if you're new here, welcome to Think Like Jam, one of the coolest series ever. I'm just yapping. I'm just I'm a pro yapper, professional R6 yapper. I yap the whole game. And you get to follow along with us. Okay. So, solo queue, what do you got to do? You got you to gotta take some space. You got to kind of play around your team. The first few rounds are all about reading what your team is doing and adjusting around that. Now, we do have a hard breacher. We got Ram, Nomad, Grim. <clears throat> I think I will probably just, like, keep it simple for now. Pick, like, an Ash. Pick a Buck. Pick something that can kind of fill around this team. Maybe even, like, Finca. Um, and I'll probably just kind of work wherever I see fit. So, we see we have two guys spawning east one guy spawning here so you guys might be working office maybe east stairs with the nomad and working for site with the ram perhaps and i might try to work cc kind of get in there take some space really the biggest thing right now is we take some space we understand what our teammates are doing what they're capable of and how we need to actually play and at the same time we're trying to figure out what the other team is doing so there's a lot going on right now already just trying to trying to figure out the situation and the details of the game so we can play according to it so we know their armory. They have a whole my. They have a dock. They might play pretty aggressive on this run out since they have the Azami. So I think I might be better off going underneath in detention as Buck. Just because they are holding armory. They're holding CC. They'll probably be playing pretty aggressive over here. But I can take space underneath and maybe yeah, even Buck underneath to gain some control. So I'm going to my drone down here and try to work into detention, which is pretty free right now. I'll start my drone in supply so I can check it and then just fly in through this detention wall. Now, I'm going to hope my teammates can stay alive for me to get something done uh, because your teammates being alive is pressure taken off of you. Now, they might run out right out of here. That's the run out. Missed my shots. Unfortunate. You can tell they're playing extremely aggressive, uh, which is something we'll take note of for the future rounds as well. So we have this one my going metal. Still there. Might be able to quickly pick him off here, honestly. I'm not there anymore. Okay, so he wraps on me. I'm a drone. We've got some space right now. Very, very aggressive defense coming out. It's honestly not a bad way to play border. Yeah, is he on pink three right now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one sec. He's lit, he ran. Should have ADS'd. If I ADS, I'm going to kill that guy. I'm going to try to work up east on this guy. My team is dead, so we've lost all that pressure that I was talking about before. So now here comes the swarm. This is where it gets difficult. Because we're going to be swung by multiple things. All at the same time, 1v5. Very difficult situation. You guys probably jumping out again. And there's the horde. What can you do? <clears throat> so the whole team died. But honestly, not bad. I mean, we did get the one call that I could buck underneath, which is good info. So we have at least one guy that's working well and, like, working with us. Uh, obviously, we got completely wrecked that round, but it's okay because we got the knowledge out of it. They're playing very, very aggressive. Even a BB or a Nomad might be good here just so we can hold that space a little easier and watch for that aggression a little easier. I honestly haven't played buck in a while. Was not ready for the recoil. That's on me. Probably could have won a lot of those gunfights. But it's okay. It's okay. We got a whole game ahead, and my cat is meowing at me for food, so please hold. Uh, I am probably going to bring the Nomad here. 
I also really like the IRX, ARX, sorry, not the IRX. ARX is really good for um, stopping a lot of that chaos and a lot of that aggression from the other team. But it also allows us to take direct. So we can go directly for sight, air jab them out. And then that way we're, we're getting aggressive, but we're getting aggressive. Like we're, we're kind of wedging our way in and then blocking them out. And then it's a lot harder for them to actually retake the site. Cause if we can get the guns, the gun site, the bomb site, we're pretty much good to go. Now they have this Ella mine here. They're probably bathroom tellers. So I could either go directly for the site or I could go passport. I'm actually going to elect to go directly for the site. I'm going to take the sense and bring the diffuser. I'll show you a sick way to potentially get some free kills uh, on site as well. So we have the nades on sense, which is nice. We can blow up all the traps on the window to potentially push later. They have the shield. The shield might cause a slight wrench in our plans, but it might be okay. So first things first, watch for this bomb piece. We're going to head to the site window and try to get rid of all the shit sitting on the window here. There's a mute jammer. Probably a frost mat. Ella mine. And there's all the util off that. We do have this frost bathroom. I'm not going to need that shield quite yet, but I will probably later. I'm going to go to this drone hole. This drone hole is beautiful, especially with the 417. I'm just going to wait for him to go on the shield. My teammate's dead already. Another quick series of deaths from the team here. You see him on the other side of the shield. So if this shield's not here, you can actually see all the way down the hallway, like I can right here. Actually, I might be able to pick this guy off. My teammates are just getting put through the slaughter so quick. I can barely keep up. It's really unfortunate that they're dying so fast, but the other team is really highly aggressive. I need a pick here. There's the one kill. There's two. This is now winnable. I could probably go directly for sight. Now we can wrap to the site. So we got the picks off the aggression. We still have a drone, I think. And we can use the sense walls again to site still. Bomb has been located. Almost had the pick there. I'm gonna try to go off it. You say he's in the office still? Mm, no. There oh, there's vert holes. Ah, that's really tough. I did not know we already rammed that, so. Unfortunate, tried to 1v5. What can you do? I mean, it's a 1v5. Uh, I am just trying to work pressure on site early, so they're less likely to be as aggressive everywhere else, right? We're kind of causing a distraction so that we can hopefully get them to come into us. Uh, probably could have just went for sight there at the end. Heard the Z4, didn't know where it was at, couldn't nade it. So I didn't get with the nade either. So hopping in that window would have been a death sentence. So I was hoping I could take top instead. Try my best. You know, I had lots of time to work with, but unfortunate circumstances. So yeah, hopefully uh, my teammates can stay alive a little longer. I'm going to go Finca. I'm going to try to boost my teammates health up. I'm going to try to help them because I cannot 1v5 every round. Uh, it's much less likely that I win a 1v5 than... Uh, you know, winning with my teammates alive. So I'm going to try and help my team by playing Finca. You know, we got the Monty now. I could even try to get them to play some other ops. Maybe I could try to cook up a strategy and see if they're down to work with that. Uh, there are going to be vent. So do you guys want to just rush the site? They're like kind of all playing off site. We can maybe rush straight through it with like a blitz and a Monty or fuse shield or something. Try to convince them to do something with me. If we work together, we have a much better chance of winning. So... Doing this might be our best chance. And they have the mute, they have the legion, they'll probably have a guy on site. Um, so it looks like we're gonna rush through tellers and then try to do something that way. I'm gonna maybe go, I'm gonna go front door if you guys wanna go through bathroom. Like if you guys, so that way we have some pressure in another spot. Try to create pressures in other areas. You can tell like my whole team doesn't have kills. I only have kills because I was in 1v5 and they all ran at me, but. We got it. We got it. We, something's got to let up eventually. And now uh, once my team starts getting kills, it could be the make or break. So you got to keep your head in the game. If you, if you just completely give up, it's a lot less likely that you'll win. That C4 was crazy. I heard him rip it. So I just waited back. I didn't think he'd get it so deep. Here's the aggression from this other team. The Valcam and the Legion combo is kind of nuts.
I'm gonna get aggressive front door. Need this barbed wire and stuff. And they got the Goyo, which is unfortunate. And my whole team is dead again, so. Another rough start to the round. I'm trying to play aggressive, but like, it's hard for me to get in. My whole, uh, the rest of my team got in the building. Uh, but I had two guys running out on me, so it made it a little tougher. I did down that guy. The Goyo, nice. Big Goyo kill. I'm gonna try to walk in sight on this guy, and of course he is supply now. Unfortunate timing on that. Not a lot I can do there. Running out front door, smack. There's one supply as well, mute with supply. Ooh, eating the smoke grenade is a bold strat. Half his health gone. I mean, honestly, we're just getting outworked. They, these guys could be five stacked while we're solo, so it could be tough. One, uh, he's reviving ping five, close right of the window. Unfortunately, the team was on the drone. You got one in the corner, one front door, and one on the other side. Nice try. Got to keep the morale up. I mean, we could theoretically still win three defenses and go to overtime. Uh, unfortunately, my team is just not all there. I mean, here's the thing about solo queue, guys. We it might get 0-4, like 4-0 this game. But if I was to get my mental all messed up, let's say I just start freaking out. I'm getting super pissed that my team can't kill anyone. And I'm just like losing my mind. Essentially, if I lose my mind, it's only going to make me play worse the next game. So instead of losing your mind, you can just kind of focus on whatever you can control, right? If I think about, oh, like, well, we could win this round or we could win the next round. We have Thunderbird and Rook, so we're probably completely screwed just based off of our lineup. However, um... You know, we think about the next game. Maybe next game we'll get better teammates. Or maybe I'll go find a five stack. Or, like, what can I do to actually improve my chances of winning? Getting upset is only going to hurt my future chances of winning. So it's, it's just try not to, you know? Try to stop yourself from getting that major tilt factor going. Uh, I'm going to play Legion here just so I have some information on the rest of the map. My teammates weren't seemingly calling out very much. Like, they weren't calling out... Uh, much of what was going on with them or where people were. So I'm assuming the same is going to apply here. I'm not going to have very much callouts. So by running Legion, I can have I have my own sort of information to use, which could help. Um, and yeah, you know, everybody gets 4 0 Look at me. I'm sitting here getting 4 0 right now, or 3 0 at least. Uh, and if you do, it's, it's not the end of the world, guys. It's not the end of the world. It's quite nice here. Try your best. Get better. Play to improve. Don't play to win. There's no... Honestly... If I'm anyone else watching this video right now, I'm not even playing to win the game. I'm playing to improve, and that's what you should do. If you're playing to improve, you'll constantly get better, and the better you are, the easier it's going to be to win. Team kill. This is how I can tell that rank 2 point is bad. 2.0 is bad because people don't do this in champion rank. Champion players don't team kill for no reason because they're tilted. Um, it just it just really does not happen. So, I mean, I think rank 2.0 is a slightly flawed system. I think the other team is honestly just way better than my teammates. Um, and that'll happen. Now, I heard this guy out the window. It sounds like he's going balcony. I think he's still sitting outside this window, so I'm not even going to jump out. That's a death sentence waiting to happen. We could still win this game. I mean, 4v3, even with the team kill, we're still chilling. We have info on the site with the BP. I can watch east off these cams. I've got east uh, with cams and stuff. The biggest thing is if he hops in the office window, I'm probably screwed, so... Gotta be aware of that. Metal, top metal in sight. Nice. That's the freezer down. I'm gonna keep calling out. Even though my teammate's not calling out, I'm gonna keep calling out. I'm gonna vault out on this guy, get the pinch. Oh my god, he's cracked, he's cracked. Oh, that guy was ready for me, too. Oh. Oh, wow, what a pre-fire. Nice. Okay, so this guy's just the best. He's just better. Sometimes you get shit on. Take it with a grain of salt. Honestly, I shouldn't have even done that if I don't want to throw. Like, I should have probably acted like my teammates are not that good and played it smart and passively. That way, if my whole team does do basically what I just did, then I can be the guy that wins the 1v1 instead of having to watch my teammates and go, what are they doing? Why? No, what are you doing? You're so dumb. Instead of doing that, I can just be the guy in the 1v1 to actually win it myself. <clears throat> okay, so we didn't get 4 out. Honestly, a pretty good defense. You know, I didn't kill anyone. My team did all the work, so let's go. Let's go. Frick yeah. Hell yeah, dude. We're going Tellers next. This is usually the next site you'll see. Um, this is a site where we played the Sense and almost 1v5. But now we have to defend it. How do I want to defend it? Well, my teammates all kind of played on site, so I could honestly hit a bit of a roam. Uh, I could do a cap can. 
I'm going to play the cap cam. Might be able to get some free picks with the cap cam. Honestly, the other team is, they're, they're, they're heated up. So if I can get some free kills with traps, I'll do it. Uh, they're super, super aggressive as well. So their droning is probably going to be at a minimum because of that. You saw they barely droned at all last round. They just kind of ran in the building killing everyone and getting killed. So for those reasons, I'm going to bring the cap can. Potentially just get a free pick from the cap can traps. I always do two and three because it's the most likely that you'll actually get kills from the trap. And I think the best way to play the traps isn't for info, but instead to actually get kills uh, on the other team. So I'm going to get the hatch here. And then I'll probably go put them on like the office double door or somewhere in that area where a lot of people, you know, it's a high traffic area and then it's a high likelihood that you'll actually get trap kills. Actually, instead I will do CC because if one person comes flying through this room, they are definitely going to hit these. It's very rare that they actually check this door for traps, so uh, it's a good opportunity for a freebie. I'm going to barricade and then rip it down. So this way, if they come through CC, like if they come from Armory Balk or the window, they're more than likely going to hit those traps. Now I'm going to start in Passport in case they decide to come push here early. Two outside customs. I'm going to go contest that real quick so since nobody's playing here. We full reinforce the site. Oh gosh, that's really bad. Okay. There's a little aggression. No drone. I'm coming, Captain. Now I could even reinforce those walls, which would be bold, but it could honestly be the play, but I don't think it is. Oh, thank you, Doctor. <laughs> keep no the problem. vibes. Keep the vibes high. The detention wall is open, by the way. <clears throat> Where are you guys dying from? In customs. Oh, weird pre-fire, but we got him. Probably just heard me there. Can you watch the exit hall cam for me? Ah, one's waiting. In passport, did not I think that's a lie. Then pass right now. Oh my gosh. The ping was off. He told me to wall bang the ping and then he moved. <laughs> that is really unfortunate. Oh well. Maybe this guy can win it out. I tried my best. You got two in your hallway. Two in your hallway. Come to your door. Swinging again. Two. They're just on pings. One's on the double door and one's deep in the hallway. He's holding you from the. You have case down still. Buck's coming through sight. And Nomad's uh, on the single door. Try to call out for this guy. This guy could win it. Nice try, man. All friendlies were eliminated. All right, tough game. I mean, hey, sometimes you get in those matches. Sometimes you get pooped on. Solo queue is not the ideal way to play. I prefer a duo queue, like my most recent upload. Do a ten duo queue strategies, elite duo queue strategies that you can go watch now to play better, win more, and honestly, yeah, duo queue is away. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next Tuesday for another Think Like a Champion. Uh, and plus regular uploads. Peace out.